Hey, what's up guys? Mr. and Mrs. B here. And we would like to share with you 10 of our essential beach holiday items. This could be like an everlasting list, couldn't it? There's so it many be. things that we deem as being essential, which ain't necessarily essential for you, but um, maybe they'll inspire someone, help someone out. Well, that's, that's the aim of this one, is to try and help mm. people out for their beach holidays. Because we pack gradually, don't we? Like Ooh. over several weeks. Apparently I'm not allowed to include a sombrero in this. Or my wrestling mask. Just a quick disclaimer. They are quite essential though. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't you know what to say. should have said you can wear your sombrero for this video. No. No. I'm sure they'll see enough of you on holiday wearing ridiculous things and doing silly things on camera that I can't control. I can control this. For those of you that haven't already done it, the subscribe button is there to be hit at any time. Thank you very much. Por favor. And we will love you for it. Uh, don't forget, as well, you can catch us on Instagram right up there. It's up there. I always feel like I'm looking into nothing and you're going to so leave make, it out one Make day. the noise. Ah. There we go. It's there. Mm. So you can catch us on Instagram for any extra random stuff that we put on there. But for right now, here are 10 essential items for our beach holiday. So number one. Toiletries. I know. It sounds really basic, but like I've been to plenty, not with you, I don't think, but I've been on plenty of holidays previously. And it says like in the resort, this is included, this is included, and you go. But the shampoo's really crap or like... Yeah. You don't feel like the soap's any good. So I'd rather It can leave just, you dry. And that's yeah. the thing, like, we... We take our skincare very seriously in this house. We have to. Um, don't know if you can tell. I am of a mixed ethnicity, so... We ain't got time to tell you, like... No, I how. haven't. <laughs> all mixed up, all confused. <laughs> but, yes. But it's a good little mix, though, isn't it? Good. Dry skin is not something you will want. You no. will look ashy and horrible. And with some of those soaps, they do leave you looking like that. So you have to take your own. So mm. in our case, it is... What is it? The lemon something? Uh, We're taking a shower gel. I can't remember the name of it, can you? No. <laughs> We're good at this. Either way, it's lemon because it also helps... That's going to drive me mad. Keep the mosquitoes at bay because they hate citrus, apparently. I'll remember and then insert the name. Oh, we'll it. put it down there. Yeah, you'll see it. But that's that's the shower gel anyway. Yeah, but it's, it's things like that. Things that you know work for your skin that are specific to you that you like using. If you're on holiday, you want to be using the right stuff for you. Yeah, you, you can't always trust you know what you're being given. No, we have stayed in some lovely hotels, haven't we? We have indeed. Provided beautiful products that have come home with me um full of pillows as well one time i'm gonna get nicked if you say stuff like that it happened once i'm sure they'll get over it um anyway but yeah so we have been to hotels where they've just provided really really good quality stuff but um yeah like i i don't trust it I, no. you know i i go fully prepared for us and both the kids Next up. Number two. Tell them. Dress for comfort, guys. Try the stuff on before you put it in your case. Little on the nose, but yeah. Well, I know it sounds like proper basic, but again, when I was a lot younger, I've been on holiday before where I've just thrown in my case whatever I thought I needed. I've not worn half of it. And the stuff I did wear isn't always that practical it certainly wouldn't be now i've got kids and i'm conscious if i'm bending over or if i'm running after someone no one wants anything falling tell, out of tell anywhere. me tell me more shut your face but no you, just dress for comfort like don't stress yourself out and just make sure everything fits nice before you put it in your case no harm will come to you that's my like biggest worry i'd get on holiday and have nothing fit. <laughs> like, no. I'll just stay in the room, it's all right. I'll see you in a fortnight. Number three. 
specific plugs. It is the two pin for where we are going. It is Mexico, so yeah. they use the US oh, one of these. two pin style. As you can see there, this one is for both USA and for Australia, New Zealand. I think you move. You can them, yeah, you can yeah. jig it around and make it work. So yeah, I've been on holiday, not myself, but I've been on holiday with people who shall remain nameless, and they've taken the wrong type of plug. So then we all... What? Who the hell did that? Who do you think? Anyway, so, yeah. So then, I'm judging. So then you're sharing plugs, like, oh, my phone's not charged, can I have your... Like, nightmare. Take more than you think you need. Make sure you've got one for every device. Reminds me of the time everyone was saying, oh, I, I didn't bring down my... Uh... My sunscreen, can I use yours? Because we had a decent one. We had a really good one that year. Mm. Same resort. <laughs> Same resort. <laughs> Number four. Cuatro. Tech all chargers. Your tech, all your chargers. Don't leave them at home. We've seen people in groups and stuff saying, oh, has anyone got a spare charger and all this? For, it's like, or buying them at the airport for like 20 quid. No. Like, no, 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 bring no, your no. Bring your chargers, make sure you got them the night before, two days before, whatever. And in our case, it's iPads because we got two boys who love, you know, to watch things. And in this case, it's a 10-hour flight. So. Yeah. So it's phones for us. An iPad each. Get your phones days. ready, get your downloads ready. Every, almost every, you know, app that we watch stuff on has a download option oh, now. Thank God. Typically, the one that doesn't is the one I want, but, you know, can't win. So, yeah, headphones, yeah. I know airlines provide headphones, but most of the time they just hurt your ears and they're just horrible. I'm not the only person in the world that doesn't wear headphones, but, like, you I'm just... You just read stuff, don't you? Yeah. I'm not a... No, and yeah, in-flight entertainment isn't what it used to be. So I just don't think you can rely on it, particularly if you've got children. No, um, you know, our youngest son wouldn't understand why he couldn't just put on what he wanted on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh no, that's not my show. Turn it off. Um, so it just makes much more sense to have everything loaded. Um, so yeah, those traumatizing hours. Oh, coming our way. Wish us luck. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. Absolutely fine. Um, this is a... It's kind of gross. It's not, it's not gross. It's pretty normal, I think, for someone, you know, for a 10-hour flight, if you don't want to be spending too much time in there. Um, I've been on plenty of flights where other passengers have not obviously taken this. Um, and it's not been a pleasant experience. No. Um, I'm always nervy about, I've got a nervy tummy anyway, um, but yeah, I'm always worried if I've got to be away from the house, away from a toilet for a long, long so, time. Say away from a toilet, they do have toilets on the planes, they're little, I know, they're uncomfortable. I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to don't blow your brains out on one of those. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't want to have to use the toilet. You know, uh, yeah, it is, a, it, is a, it is a genuine fear, I think, of both of us that you, know, you have bad guts on a plane because you're either going more than, you know, two or three times or whatever. Or, or not being able to, like, you know, that seatbelt sign being on. You were just stinking the joint out. I can't, I'd, yeah. You can you anxiety. can obviously let off one or two sneaky ones because no one's seen it. Well, you can. No one knows what's going on. No one, you know, no one knows who it belongs to. You're one of those people on the plane, aren't you? Just do next, it. Next to you, I do it for a laugh, do, yeah. Do it silently. And... <laughs> not even silent. You just can't hear them. It's so loud in these things. Mm. So, Yeah. Yeah, Always it's just double good check to know levels. that you have it. I'd yeah, I'd be too scared not to have it. Um, and on the other end of the spectrum, uh, yeah, this is more for me. Gavis gone. I don't think I've ever had heartburn, other than when I've been pregnant, ever in my life. Mine's after a drink. You know, hardly after... ever drink. Yeah, I, I don't really drink, but if I do, it's good to know that I've got. This with me, I, I've got the peppermint one because the uh, aniseed one right. is rough, <laughs> so rough. Oh. It is, you know, it's almost like you want to have heartburn <laughs> instead of having that stuff. I'd rather it's, have heartburn yeah, and drink this. Nasty, but yeah, Gaviscon for me, that is. Yeah. 
we don't want to feel rapey. Oh, you want to feel at your best. You want to wake yeah. up chippy and chirpy. Chippy and chirpy. Yeah. Like Pinky and Bertie. Okay. Um, hide your quarters and cream. Yes. Not for children. It's not, but it's for bites. Um, <laughs> again, this is a bit more you, isn't it? I don't think I've ever had a mosquito bite. I must have had life. one. They just don't. I'm not like. I've had a few thing. trips here and there where I've had them. Last time we went to Mexico, I did not have that many, if any. No. But you can never be too sure. I think they just favour certain people. I don't. I, I can't be that sweet on their palate. I oh, mean, I'm super sweet, you know. Naturally. Mm. Um, but yeah, again, you just want to be feeling your best when you're on holiday. Who wants to be sitting, scratching, like worried about? Their bites. People might think you're a cracker or something if you're just Not doing this much. all day. Yeah. Yep, there is that. Um, these are kind of all linked together. So, oh, it's appropriate, basic, yeah. appropriate sun cream. And when I say appropriate, I mean a high factor. I don't care what colour you are, what race you are, whether you think you tan really beautifully with oil on you. It's not smart. No one wants to get skin cancer. Your 30s and your 50s. Yeah. Everyone's got to be safe. And, you know, we have a very, very pale sun. Yeah. So. We've got one that's a little bit more like you. Yeah. Isn't he? Like a bit more olivey. And the Irish as Irish can be. Um, yep, she did it. Well, I'm allowed. I'm, my dad's from Dublin. <laughs> you can do to, the Jamaican accent if you like. To be sure. That would have been so much better if you'd done it in the accent. Um, after sun. I'm very big in Ireland, you know. Yeah. Shout out to my Irish people. Give it some context, they're not going to understand. Uh, okay, just quickly. <laughs> as seen as you asked. Chat Grapple and Cheap Pops, the other show I'm a part of, does very well in the Irish market for some reason. We do really well in the charts. I don't know why. I think the Irish must be crazy to listen to me and a friend ramble for sometimes well over two hours. Maybe they just know you've got a bit of Tipperary in you. Long way there, isn't it? It's a long way Yeah. There. I bet only about 5% of the people watching this get that. Why don't we keep going? Uh, it's After Suns and, you know, stuff like that. There is a really good After Sun made by Banana Boat. Smells like smells a like a holiday. of aloe vera, don't you? Aloe vera. You just... <laughs> You just can't help yourself. So every time we go into a shop, even though we've got tons of it at home, we don't need to buy any, he just opens it and smells it in the middle of the shop. Oh, it smells like a holiday. It does. It smells like a holiday. Um, but yeah, it's very important. Nice to have a nice cooling gel or cream on you. Like in, when you go back to your room, isn't it? After day at the beach. Yeah. And moisturiser. Oh, yes. Lots of moisturiser. Lots Body of... Body butters, coconut creams, like... All of that stuff. No one wants to dry out on holiday. Or peel, yeah. You no. don't want any of that nonsense. No, it's just not right. And this is our kids' first... It's certainly not their first foreign holiday, but it's their first, like, beach hot holiday. Yeah. Um, We ordinarily, so far, have done, like, sea breaks, haven't we? And... Winter cold. Mm. But no, this is sun, sunshine, heat. Yeah. And with that... You need to stay hydrated, so the boys have water bottles. These are brilliant. Do Giant water bottles. Remember the miracle cups by made by Munchkin, so you can drink all the way around and then on spill. Obviously, this is because it's got nothing in it. But even when they're filled, you can do that; nothing comes out. Because as they place their lips on this, it comes out of the owl. So I found massive ones. Um, just that way I can fill up the bars out there for them, like whatever juices they're having or, you know, just water yeah. from the room. Um, yeah, then no one spills a drink. Where do you get them from? Amazon. Amazon. I think I'm keeping them in business, to be fair. Amazon or Munchkin? Uh, it used to be Munchkin, but definitely Amazon. Okay. Yeah, and... Um, I mean, we're not bothering with water bowls this time, are we? We're probably not going to bother with water bowls, but metal straws is something that we... Uh, I do not believe in cardboard straws. I think no, they're pathetic. They're they disintegrate rubbish. into your drink. 
I'm so against them. He feels very strong. Yeah. Mm, but... I mean, I get it. They're rubbish. It, like no one's made a good version of it yet. So we bought a little kit, didn't we? We did a long time was ago. Was that from Amazon? Probably. Yeah, I feel like it was. Um, yeah. So and then you get the brushes, so you can clean them. Like we've never had a problem with mold or anything like that. Mm. We clean ours really well. Um, it goes back in like a little pouch, doesn't it? So we're just going to take the whole thing away with us. So we haven't got to deal with like no plastic straws being available. Yeah, no. Hmm. I believe we're at number 10. We are. Last now, but not least. I mean, this is going to be super specific to us. Very personal. I don't know that. I mean, maybe some of you it would apply to. Um, our youngest son has got additional needs and we invested in a disability stroller didn't we last year yeah that boy don't want to walk nowhere yeah he's four and a half um but in the throes of a meltdown or me being very very far away from our room i ain't carrying him he's like four foot tall already so it's been an absolute godsend to us like when we've been like days out and even if I'm doing the school run on my own, I have to park up like miles away. Um, it's been really, really amazing like thing to have. Um, I'll link down below just in case anyone's interested. We've got the McLaren Major Elite. Um, and I'll, the re only reason I'm going to link where I got it from is because if you've got a child with uh, special needs and you get um, DLA for them, you can get the VAT wiped from the purchase price like at the checkout you haven't got to pay it you don't have to wait for it to get refunded or anything um because all these things are like super pricey um but yeah it wasn't gifted it's not an ad nothing but they were just a really good company to buy it from so i'll make sure he links it below um but yeah i don't the thought of having to navigate an airport without it because there's four of us and your mum and her partner are coming so that's six cases, six lots of hand luggage. I only have to carry four, so I'm all right. Yeah, I, I don't do a lot of case carrying. Um, I might be able to, they're all on wheels, aren't they? So I can maybe push one as I like pushing him. Um, Just the one. But yeah, all right. But yeah, so the, the thought of having to na like navigate that at either airport fills me with dread so i feel much much better about the traveling knowing we have it and you can just take it right up to they put a label on it take it right up to the gate you fold it down for them they put it in the hold and then it's waiting for you when you get off the plane Not always. or in theory that is what is supposed to happen mm. <laughs> somewhere else I can't remember where we were. vegas i think vegas yeah i think they didn't bring it to us or not this one, this was just a regular stroller because yeah. we only had our first son then. Um, so I had to manage the bags whilst she managed the child. And I was very pregnant at the time. And then they put us in for extra scanning so as well. So that was fun. You wanted to go in the chair anyway, though. <laughs> they didn't put me in a chair. But yeah. So, 10 essential items for our holiday. Which There's loads by more. By the time this comes out, we'll already be there. So... Check us out on Instagram, though. You'll find a lot of stuff on Instagram. We'll, the stories we'll and the reels and, will be mad. So Yeah, we'll try and stay present a little I bit. I might try and do a YouTube short or two as well. Yeah, I don't. I, I want us to really relax and really enjoy the time together and not be focused on kind of work or like being head in our phones. But we we will check in, won't we? And we will indeed. To like show you what's going on. So thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this one. Mm. If there's anything that you think we should be taking or anything yeah. like that, hit it in the comments. We'll definitely check what it out. What are your essentials? It'd be two likes. We're going to be there. Yeah. Oh, this shops we can go buy one. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's just there. Check us on Instagram. Up there. Oh. And we say thank you again. You made it to the end. Well done. Mm -hmm. And we will see you soon. Take care, everyone. Is that music again? Yeah.